Hello, I'm Lori Stos. Welcome to Get Your Mind On. The other night I was sitting at dinner with a friend when he turned to me and said, are you open to some feedback? I instantly paused, wrinkled my forehead, and all of a sudden felt a little tight in my body and thought, uh, uh, sure, I'm open to feedback. And he proceeded to give me some feedback about something that had happened earlier in the day to uh, some of the things that I said and maybe a little di bit different way to say them. But instantly, what happens when someone says they want to give you feedback? Your guard goes up, you get a little tight, your body responds. But really, what is feedback about? If you think about it, there is no failure. There's just feedback. Feedback really helps us think about how do we get better? We can't really personally grow or professionally grow without getting feedback. Sometimes we're lucky enough to have people who are close enough to us to give us feedback and um, we trust them, which I think that's really, really important is to get feedback from anyone, you really need to trust that individual. And two, you have to be open and emotionally ready for feedback. So many times we may get feedback, but how can we really think about feedback differently? How can we really think about being proactive with feedback and getting feedback from others? So I have a very simple way to think about getting feedback. Let's say you're a manager and you have a team, and you have a team of you know eight to 10 people, and it's really hard to be meeting everybody's needs and, and being who you need to be and getting feedback and giving feedback and, and going about the whole process. And so some managers say, gosh, those performance evals, I gotta do those every so often. So I kind of teach them to do an instantaneous feedback moment every so often. And that is called start, stop, and continue. It's three simple questions, 21 words. What would you like me to start? What would you like me to stop? And what would you like me to continue doing? Those three, those three questions really help open up a dialogue that can get really rich. Now, I had one manager try it, and the first time he said, well, they didn't really say much. And I said, well, you'd never really asked them, had you? Uh, no, I really hadn't. And so it really gave a different perspective. Once he started asking and kept asking every so often, he would get richer and richer feedback every day. So what did he learn from that? Number one, he learned that there was maybe a pattern of things that he heard from a number of people that maybe he needed to work on. Second, is many times in management, he was like trying to do many, many different things for everybody and meeting all of their needs when he really found out the one or two things that meant a lot to each of those people. So what we do is we take a lot of energy hoping that things we do every day, kind of, as I say, shooting the darts at the target, hoping that something will stick, when really all we need to do is ask the question and find out what are those two or three things that mean something to that individual. That sure makes management a lot easier. The other way you might think about using these questions are some of you may be parents out there, and I don't know about you, but I sure didn't take a parenting class, and uh, it's always wondering, am I doing a good job, or I'm usually beating myself up because I'm not doing one thing or the other with the kids. So I use that same activity with my kids. What would you like me to start? Would you like me to stop? What would you like me to continue doing? And you know, last month I did that with the kids at dinner and it was interesting because the things I was thinking that um, I was struggling with, they're like, that's no big deal, mom. We want you to do this. But that made it a lot easier for me. I really understood what they needed and realized that the things that I was worrying about weren't even valid. And uh, so it really helps you understand them and understand yourself a little bit more in terms of what's valuable for the relationship. And really, if you're in any kinds of relationships with you know, spouses or, or significant others, those three questions are really, really critical to give you that ongoing feedback. Now, the other thing to think about is that when we ask for feedback, they're probably gonna expect us to listen and to really take action on what we hear. So if you're not willing to do that, you might stop and question if you really want the feedback or not. But really, if you ask those questions, think about what action you need to take to make that relationship stronger or tighter or make that person perform at a little higher level and motivate them based upon what you heard. I use the example of many of our companies that we work with use an employee engagement survey. And they are always curious about many different things that they want to ask the employees. And my first sorting question is, are you going to do anything about it when you ask? you're not going to do anything about it, it's sure nice to know, but you set an expectation when you ask the question that you're going to make change with the information. So think about that in terms of who you want to ask and of course the information you get back and making an action plan. 
For our positive charge this week, first I'd like you to take the challenge and ask two to three people this week about what you could start, stop, or continue with them. Secondly, I'd like you to sit back and think about once you hear that, what's the action plan that you're going to take with those individuals and really take that feedback and put it into action. Third, sit back and observe what you hear. Is there a pattern? Is there something that you're consistently hearing that could help you grow and develop even further? And fourth, I like to walk my own walk. So of course, I'm here talking about giving feedback. So I would like your feedback. So more and more as we've had, you know, a number of these Get Your Mind on blog episodes, I would like to get your feedback. What would you like me to stop? What would you like me to start? And what would you like me to continue doing? Please feel free to email me at lori at loristoast.com or feel free to send me a message or post it on the Facebook or on our webpage. Thank you so much for joining us today and remember to get your mind on.